Welcome back. Today is day 11 of creating a 3D printing startup business. So welcome back to the channel. Today is day 11 of turning my garage into a 3D printing startup business. Some of the prints from yesterday have finished, some are still running. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear off some of the beds for the finished products and then get some new files sent over to those since I still have some time for some of these longer prints to finish up. Doing that, however, will push me into my first problem of the day. Yes, you see it. Uh, getting this corner cleared up, cleaned out, and getting some type of quick, cheap organizational system set up so that I can take the prints from the beds and move them right over. So let's get that set up. So this has definitely just been kind of a catch-all for the last 10 days. Uh, but now that we're getting the workflows dialed in, I can go ahead and get this organized, cleaned up, and everything put in its place. So nothing special about these shelves. Uh, these are just going to be in close proximity to the printers so that as some of these first initial prints come off, I can take them, put them onto the shelves. This won't be my permanent receiving location. That'll be back in the shipping room. Uh, but for now, as we kind of work through the initial workflows, it's close to the printers. And I also bought a second smaller one that's going to hold run over filament and the tools that we discussed yesterday. So for now, I think it would be a good fit. And then I've got these storage totes that I already had laying around. So I'm going to use these to help get everything organized. And then for the random tools and supplies, spare parts for now, I'm just gonna put in these totes and keep them you know, somewhat organized. I have a lot more uh, spare parts that I bought when I bought the printers, uh, but I'm gonna set up a little kind of uh, acro bin uh, part for that. It'll keep that much more uh, together because those are a lot of smaller parts. Okay, so now that we have a place to put all the prints as they're finished, and also a spot to keep us organized and all of our tools in one place, let's get the prints that have been completed off of the printers, into a container, and onto the shelves. And I do have one print that still has a few hours to go before it's finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and send over some shorter term prints uh, just to get some more ready. And then when everything's done printing, in the next episode or so, we'll get everything laid out uh, on a table, we'll take a look at everything. I'll explain why I chose to print these items first, uh, where I think their place might be uh, in the marketplace, and also what it cost me to print, what I think you could probably sell it for. Uh, we'll take into account shipping and you know look at some net profits. After that, we'll choose some to actually take to the finish line, meaning we'll go ahead and get the photography room set up. I'll show you the equipment that I plan on using. We'll get photographs taken, professional photographs, get the online platform set up, and bring the first items to market. Now, all of these items I will be showing, I do have a commercial license to. Uh, that is another point that I'll kind of touch on. So I do have the rights to sell anything that I've printed. 
Uh, a couple of them are even in the public domain, meaning they're just you, you don't need to pay or subscribe uh, to get the file. You can just print it and do with what you want with it. So I'll, I'll get into more detail um, as these start wrapping up. But for now, let's get everything off of the printers and we'll get some more sent over and then we'll see what else we have in store for today. Okay guys, so we got some more prints sent on over. I had one of the bigger prints uh, fail yesterday a couple hours in. Uh, that was the bed adhesion issues that I believe it was that we spoke about earlier. I changed those parameters up and it seems to be doing just fine now. It's past that point where it had previously failed, so we should be good to go. Uh, again, we're gonna let all these print get finished and we're gonna set up and, and walk you through the entire workflow. And the entire process that you're gonna see me work through it's the same for essentially any product that you would want to find yourself and bring to market at scale. Same principles, same processes. Uh, it, it may be a bit different here and there, but as a general rule of thumb, it'll look just the same. Well, that's it for today, guys. Today is 11 of a 21 day series of building and setting up a print farm startup from my garage. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the remaining days as we take this garage to a 3D printing business. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.